A few years ago, I was able to make something Whoa. called hot ice, which would cool. instantly freeze when it was poured out. And I was Candle able wax. to grow this weird tower thing. <laughs> what I didn't show in that video, though, was that it could also crystallize when something was placed into it, which I thought was really cool. And since then, I've been wanting to scale it up. Of course. Specifically, this is because I really wanted to be able to put my entire hand into it. And, well... He's probably going to be okay, but that's just a weird first thing to think of. I've finally decided to try this. So, I quickly whipped together an extremely large batch of the hot ice, which is just a concentrated solution of something called sodium acetate, and when it was ready, I was honestly a bit nervous. This is because as the sodium acetate crystallizes, it will release a lot of heat, and I was kind of worried that this could burn my hand. Okay, um, so it's not really freezing. Like you said, it's exothermic crystallization. Or when you have something that's super cooled in its liquid form below the freezing point, and then once activated, it rapidly crystallizes and releases its energy. Despite that though, I just went for it, and immediately a bunch of crystals started forming on my fingers, and I could feel <laughs> everything quickly getting hotter and hotter. This stuff is actually used in reusable heat packs, so safe commercial use. However, thankfully, it stopped heating up just before it started hurting, <laughs> and eventually, my entire hand was fully encased in a huge block of hot sodium acetate, which honestly felt kind of nice. Certain liquid metal cooled reactors could potentially have this happen to their cool 